We're at the Avatar booth with Mike Wolfer right. of Avatar Press. You are a writer for Avatar and an artist as well, right? right. Uh, a little bit of everything. A little bit of writing, a little bit of drawing, a little bit of both sometimes, and a little bit of neither occasionally. Really? <laughs> on books that I don't work on, yes, of course. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, you're working on a couple projects right now with right. Uh, Warren Ellis. Can you tell me a little bit about him? Right. Um, we're doing Gravel, the ongoing full-color monthly series, which is a uh, an extension of the Strange Kiss, Stranger Kisses, Strange Killings uh, miniseries that we've been uh, publishing since 1999. There's been six previous miniseries out, um, and we've finally decided, you know what, there, there is definitely a market out there for uh, the adventures of William Bravel um, and just the sporadic mini-series that we've done over the last seven years just hasn't been enough for the really hardcore solid following that uh, William Bravel has. Now, William Bravel is a combat magician. Combat magician, right. Well, can you explain right. that concept to folks who might not be familiar with it? Uh, he kills people. How hard is it? What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Wait, hold on. He's, uh, he's not in frame. Uh, uh, who, who is that disembodied voice who's, who's talking to us right now? here. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that was Warren Ellis. It was Warren Ellis. Yeah. All right, so we were talking about a concept of the combat magician. Warren Ellis came in and told me, told us he basically kills people. What, what's so hard about that? But for those who don't get the concept of a combat magician. Could you explain it? Right. Um, you know, the overall feel of the book is a action-adventure. There's a lot of guns, there's a lot of, uh, you know, some political intrigue here and there. In, in the previous series, we relied heavily on uh, William Bravel's ties with the SAS. He's a, he's a sergeant major in the uh, British Special Air Service. Um, he also is a magician, uh, unknown to a lot of uh, a lot of his contemporaries. He can make horrible things happen to people just by looking at them. He can he can give them a sideways glance and make someone vomit out their own intestines, <laughs> which comes in handy in the battlefield <laughs> or at the local 7-Eleven, whatever you know. Uh, so with the uh, you know the new ongoing monthly, we're exploring. Uh, William Gravel's ties to the occult world, which we've never actually gotten into into it uh, to explain just who he is and what he is and why he does what he does. We've only seen his military adventures in the past. So we're, we're answering a lot of questions now finally for the fans who have been waiting for years to get some answers. Awesome, awesome. Now, I know you get this a lot, but um, what is it like collaborating with Warren Ellis now where you're really... Um, you're co-writing the book together, or yes. is it really? Just, is he really giving you the lion's share and just putting his name on it and trying to take credit for it? Wink, wink. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, and and yes, I have gotten that question a lot. People wonder if uh, you know I'm just running with the concept. No, Warren writes uh, what he calls a scriptment for each issue, which is uh, about a seven or eight page short story just like any short story you would read in a book that doesn't have pictures in it. Um, I think they call those novels or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, he writes a, a, a fully realized and fleshed out short story with uh, key passages of dialogue, uh, everything that's necessary to tell that tale. I'm actually converting that into the comic book script format. Oh, okay. So I do add, uh, you know, a few touches of my own, rework a few scenes here and there. Uh, Warren gives me a lot of leeway uh, as far as, you know, blocking out and choreographing the uh, the action sequences. Uh, he'll say, "Okay, Mike, here's the lead up. Now, kick ass for 12 pages." I'm like, okay, so I get to actually figure out who gets killed and how, and and you know how all of that works. Uh, I do supply some of the dialogue myself, but it is absolutely 100% Warren Ellis. Uh, you know, so to, to allay any fears that that it's just his name on the book. No, that's that's not the case. He is writing the book. Well, I've read I've read Gravel's the the, the work that you guys have done previously, right. and I guess the, the reason I bring that up is um, 
the voice is consistent. I mean, there is a tone I to hope, it. That, I hope so. Yeah. That I, and I, that I have to say that's some that's pretty impressive when when you have two collaborators on one book. Sometimes the tone can be inconsistent, but you guys pull it off. Right, and it's difficult for me too because I'm an American, you know, and uh, uh, Warren and William Gravel are both from the UK. So it's been difficult for me to make sure that I'm not writing stereotypical dialogue. This is what I think British people sound like. You know, I'm, I'm trying to, to keep it faithful to what Warren has set up in the past. Of course, I've been there from the beginning as well. Right. The, the, the very first issue of Gravel, I was the artist on it, and I've drawn every issue up until the new miniseries. So I kind of, I'm in his head too. And I'm hoping that the voice that comes out is Warren. So far, I think I'm, I'm succeeding. So. Uh, any plans to start drawing, uh, drawing gravel again? We've talked about it, uh, depending on my schedule. Right now, I'm illustrating uh, Garth Ennis's Streets of Glory. Mm -hmm. And I have, uh, well, I guess it was announced at this convention. So I can say I'll be doing a new uh, Wormwood series with Garth Ennis. So I don't know if I'm going to have time to do any gravel other than the occasional covers. I do supply uh, two covers for each issue. At least I can get my hands on gravel a little bit each month other, other than writing. But, uh, I would love to be able to, to illustrate a whole book. It's not necessarily uh, feasible right now. So here's the obvious question. I'm sure you get this one too. What is it like, the difference between collaborating with Garth Ennis and Warren Ellis. Right. Uh, with Garth, it's it's more of a traditional comic book writer, comic book artist relationship. I get a script from him, I draw what he tells me to draw. Uh, with Warren, if we look at the older series that we did, the older Strange Kiss, uh, Stranger Kisses, Strange Killing stuff, uh, he started out being leading me, you know, being very strict with with exactly what he wanted to see in each panel. And then when he became comfortable with my art and, and my sensibilities and, and storytelling ability, uh, he, he backed off a little bit and, and just kind of let me run with things. And that evolved into the current uh, uh, relationship we have now where I'm, I'm scripting. Uh, we did a little bit of that in, in the Strange Killings series where I was doing a little bit of the dialogue. You know, Warren would say, you know what, Mike, I trust you. Go ahead and, and, and draw this action sequence the way you envision it. And then once I did it, he said, well, you drew it. You know what they would be saying. Why don't you write the, the dialogue for that section? And, that, and that's how we got to the point where we are now. So it's, it is very different uh, working with Garth and working with Warren. Uh, I'm all over the map. <laughs> Um, and then finally, uh, when do we get to see a complete 100% Mike Wolfer production? Written, drawn, everything. Just you. I have done several for Avatar where I've written and drawn uh, some of the licensed books that we did uh, Friday the 13th. But something you've created, something just completely yours. <laughs> I have no idea. Avatar <laughs> has me so busy working with oh. some of the greatest names in the business. Right. Yeah, I'm going to complain about that and say, <laughs> no, I, I want to do what I want to do. Uh, I'm really happy doing what, All right. doing what I'm doing now. All so. right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much for taking thank this time you. with I us. Thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, for those uh, who see, I've been out of frame this whole time, so will they see me shaking your hand? Uh, no, you can't, but that's okay. We shook hands, folks. Take my word for it. This is uh, Elliot Serrano for the Comics Waiting Room in Chicago Red Eye signing off.